Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2015 with the Rude Man. And I had a little bit of a problem that I fixed. If you remember, I mentioned something in the last episode that when I started this particular map, it took like a half hour to load. And none of my other maps would do that. Some of the bigger 4, uh, 4X maps do take a little bit longer to load than normal, but not too bad. A couple minutes and it's loaded, no problem normally on the big, even the biggest maps I have. But this particular one would take like a half hour. I mean, not literally, but pretty damn close. It'd take 15 to 20 minutes to load. And uh, that was crazy. And then, if you remember, I said that I was going to fix my course play routes because they were all effed up. And I had so many of them. Well, actually, that little problem took care of itself. This map was corrupted. And I think it was the course play routes that were messing it up. And I went to mess with one route, just one route. I went in, and let me show you. Let me get in a tractor here. I went to mess with one route to change it. And it kicked me completely out of the game. So, right now, that's all the, the, the um, course play routes I have right there. That's it. Uh, because what happened was, um, when I went to change that one route, I pulled, I pulled a route up, and I was going to mess with it and change it, and boom, the whole game shut off. Just completely kicked me clear out uh, instantly to my desktop. When I finally got back in... Um, in actuality, I started this map over again, and I was instantly in the game. And I had absolutely no course play routes. You know how when you first start um, a map and it comes up and says, do you want course play to automatically scan your, your uh, fields? And you say yes. And then it says, do you want course play to, to, to uh, pay your uh, workers an abnormal amount of money per hour? And I always say no, because it's something like $1,100 an hour. You're going to pay these guys $1,100 an hour? No friggin' way. So I always say no to that one. But it did that. But the interesting thing is the map loaded instantly, almost. You know, it just took a few seconds to load. But I had absolutely no course play routes. So I went back out, and I went to the map folder. And I opened it up, and there were all my course play routes were in there. But I kind of figured there was something corrupted about them, and that's what was causing the map to load so slow. So um, I just deleted it, and I started completely over. So here's what I've done. If you notice, these are my tractors, okay? I kept all of my harvesters. I sold all the um, I sold all of the um, Superman trucks. I sold them all, and I purchased all uh, of these Kenworths. I have six of those. I got rid of all the dollies, and here's what I'm gonna do. Let's take a look at the map here, and you'll notice that all my fields are now seeded. I, I did all of that while I was offline because my map was messed up. It was completely messed up. It was foobar, i tell you what. And so I went ahead and, um, and seeded everything. I lost quite a bit of chaff because I didn't, I didn't collect it all. I just said heck with it and I just uh, plowed it under. Because um, when it kicked me out of the game, I'd done about an hour's worth of work. Well, you know what I did. I, all that work I did uh, in the last episode, all of that work combined with another hour's worth of trying to clean those fields up, I get kicked out of the game, and I had not saved it. So it went clear back to where it was when I ended the episode. And so it kinda, I kind of got frustrated, and I said, hell with it. I don't care if there's ch uh, uh, windrow on the fields. I'm out of here, and... I just plowed it all under. So now we're ready to start uh, a fresh day, a fresh work day. Let me get these guys 
situated here. I don't have any of these guys in any kind of a pew, so let's put all these guys in group number three. Putting all these guys in three. Um, no. Where's my other? Oh, <laughs> I've got my, <laughs> I've got my pickup truck inside the helicopter. Um, I had these fields spread out so far, and they kept running out of fertilizer. So, I just, I put my truck in the. Uh, in the helicopter and just flew it to each field. Uh, it was quicker than driving there, believe it or not. So, let's see. We want this guy in group three. And we should have one more. There he is. Put him in group three. So I have six of those now. And I think I have six combines. So I've got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. No, I have six trucks and five combines. Um, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. So what I need to do though is it's late in the day I'm gonna go out and let the uh, crops um, Grow I want them to, to ripen and then we'll go and uh, start our next day harvest I'm changing everything. I'm changing it completely. I'm not using it. I don't know if you noticed I sold all my overloaders I sold the uh, dollies. I'm not using uh, tandem trucks and trailers anymore. Um, I'm trying to simplify my farm and make it easier for me and more efficient. So let's do that. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's almost six o'clock in the morning and it's foggy. It's foggy when a court and I tell you what. So <laughs> I need to... Uh, I need to buy combines. I didn't have combines in the last episode. Well, the last couple episodes, I didn't. I didn't have any combines. I actually uh, rented them. So I. So I need to purchase a couple. So let's do that. I need to purchase uh, quite a few actually, and I don't know if I have enough money to do all of that. But let's see. Um, I'm switching combines a little bit. Let me get it out of here. Let me go to my combines. And I usually do this one, and I mentioned this in another uh, episode that I've done recently, that when I worked the wheat, which was many years ago, we didn't have anything like this. We had these old wheel combines. So I'm going to go back. These are identical except for the fact that it has a track and it has a wheel. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy the wheeled ones. I kind of like them better anyway. Um... I was watching uh, Mr. Jeff Foley, Jeff's Foley, and he mentioned he doesn't like these. I hadn't really thought about it, but I kind of agree with him. I don't really like those either. I don't know why I've always used them. So let me buy this, and we're going to go with the uh, red color. The default on these is white. So that's one. Let's get another one. And I don't want that bright color red. I kind of like this one. It kind of matches the case color. And we're going to need several of these because we have a lot of fields to do. So uh, let's see. Um, I have six of the other combines. Let me do. Uh, let me see if I've got enough money to buy six of these. There's four. Yeah, I got plenty of money. One more. Okay, now I do need uh, headers for these. So uh, let's go back to the vanilla headers. And we'll grab uh, this one here. The 45 foot one. We're going to buy uh, six of those. All right, now let's see how badly our our uh, farm is cluttered with combines here. Uh, 
All right, now, I, I mentioned this, that I did something similar in, in another, um, on another map. I'm not going to go into that right now, but I'm going to explain it all over again, what I'm going to do to simplify my life. First of all, let's get these all put in group two. You know, I wonder if I shouldn't split these out. Um... Yeah, I'm going to split these out. I'm going to put these in group two, but I'll take the crones out and put them in their own group. Because this is going to get too complicated. I'm going to have everything in one pew there, and it's not going to it's not going to work. All right, now let's move over to the crones and put them in group um, four. Put them in group four. No, not group four. Maybe. Yeah. Put them in group four. Is that all of them? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I only had five of those. And I bought six of the other ones. Goodness gracious. I'm going to have to buy another one of those now. All right. Let's get another one of those. That one is going to be... Oh, whoops. Where am I at? Combines, combines. Combines. That one right there, we're going to buy one of those, and then we need to get a, uh, a header for it. We need the that one right there. Let's buy one of those and make it the default color. Okay, there you go. Now, let's get these guys going. This is going to take a while. But really 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 this is going to simplify my life quite a little bit okay let's take this fella out <sighs> yeah let's just take this guy out to field number one and let's start with one and work our way down by the way, the other thing that I did, I had a little bit of money, and um, I purchased two more fields. I purchased field four and field five. You'll see them there in the middle of in the middle of the map. They're pretty good sized fields, so I have a lot of fields now to work. And that's why I needed the extra combines. So let's run this one up to field number one. Boy, it's really foggy, isn't it? Hope that clears up pretty soon. What's the weather supposed to be like? Oh, it's supposed to be like that and then rain tomorrow. Great. I got all this work to do. Okay, now. I'm going to, these fields are all square or rectangular, they're not square, but they're all 90 degree corners. So I'm gonna do, I could actually just hire, um, I could I could just hire a worker actually if I wanted to, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and do, do course play. So let's see here. I'm going to do, um, this is field one. Field one, we've got 13.2. Uh, We're starting in the, the northwest. We're going to be heading south. Activate that. Uh, 
Harvest Field One. All right. And then we're just gonna let him go to work. Okay, now let's go and get uh, a truck. Now remember, I've got absolutely no courses done, so I'm gonna have to do no, new courses on everything, but I'm gonna make it easy on myself. I don't, I'm not, no overloaders. This guy's just gonna do a, a combine course, and that's it. So I'm just gonna set him here. I don't need him right now. I want to get these guys working and I'll come back and set these courses up. So let's get another combine. And we're just going to start working these fields. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start uh, thrashing the windrow using the same course that I set up this combine on. So we're going to take this to field number two, and then I'll show you what I'm referring to here in a second. Jeez, these guys are squirrelier than the ones with the tracks. They're not really, they're the same. But, let me open this up. Let's see, we can set this down here, down here. I don't want this thing going across the tracks, so I'm going to let it go. Uh, I'm going to have him go width instead of length. It's the same way that I seed the fields, so this, this will be fine. So I'm simplifying everything because the way I seed now the uh, cedar actually does the cultivating, so I don't have to cultivate. I'm letting the, the chaff combines use the same course as the cutting combines, the harvest combines, so I don't have to windrow. Yeah, it's really gonna be a lot simpler. All right, let's see if we can get up here. And let's get a course going here. We're gonna do one of those, and we're gonna do one of these. This is field two. We have 13.2 meters, which I guess is 45 feet. We are starting again in the northwest. Gonna be heading south again. Gonna activate that. Stop that. Harvest field two. Get that saved. This is a big field, so it's going to take a second to save this. And this is why. Look at the size of this field. Look at all the points that it, the waypoints that it has to generate. So that's why it takes a while to save. All right, and then. We're just gonna let this guy go to work. Drive the course. Next. Run this guy over to field number three. Yeah, I simplified my seeding uh, courses too. Pretty much. All right, 
I'm going to jump this gap here. Don't do this at home. I'm a professional. Oh, geez, it actually jumped it. Oh, that wasn't a good landing, though. All right, let's get rid of that. Latch onto this. Right here. I wish it was bright and sunny. Kind of gloomy. Okay, same thing over here. We're just going to start in this corner here. Right, y'all. Come on, buddy. Quit being so squirrely. Okay, field work. Generate the cores. This is field number three. And we've got 13.2 meters. We're starting in the northeast this time. And we're going to be heading south again. Activate that. And then let's save this. Harvest field three. Now see how quickly that one generated? Didn't take long at all. Next. Open says a me. All righty, we're heading out to field number four, which is right below field number three, believe it or not. I don't know how that works. Things are organized that way, I guess. Field uh, four and five are actually very good sized fields. And uh, we're gonna basically run it the same way. Oops, I didn't mean to turn in this one. There's another one down the road I meant to turn in. Right there. Field three is a tiny one, but Field 4 is actually a pretty good size, as well as Field 5. Okay, now we're going to do field work, um, generate course, field number four, whoops, field number four, back, the starting corner is the, again, the northeast, heading south, activate that, generate the course, save it, harvest field four, this one's going to take a little bit longer to generate, it's a big field, there we are, not too bad, not too bad at all, go to work, get next combine, head this guy down to field number five. Five is alive.
Okay, this is field number five. Another humongous field. Uh, yeah, can I drive through the fence? I sure can. What's that all about? Oh, stop it. Wheels away. Flip this sucker around. Easier said than done. Squirrely thing. Okay. Now, field work. Generate the course. Field number five. 13 meters. Starting corner is the northwest. Northwest. We're going to be heading east. Activate that. I think that's the way to go in this field. We'll find out. I don't know what's on the other end. Oh, I better check. Um, because if we have if we have a railroad on the other side, railroad tracks, that's going to be an issue. How big this field is. It's just huge. No, it doesn't go as far. I think we're going to be okay with this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't go clear to the railroad tracks. Yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Okay. So we can save this one. Harvest field five, save. And take a second, it's a big field. There it is, all right. Now from this point, we're going to probably jump up to field 16 or 25, doesn't really matter. They're both in the same area, so... Alright, drive the course. Let's take a look at the map here. Yeah, see, we're done down here. So we could go down to field nine, but God, that's such a tiny field. I'm not even gonna mess with it right now. Let's take, um, let's, let's run up to field 25 with the next one. On fog, burn off. All right, we're heading up to field 25. It's a very small field, and then from that point, we'll probably. Uh, We'll probably take this one when he's done 25 and head him down to field 16, right, right below him. Uh, field number one will be done fairly quickly, and we'll probably run him over to field number nine, or down, excuse me, down I should say, to field number nine. Can I go through them? Oh, can I go through them? Some of them you can. Evidently not those. See, look, some of them you can, some of them you can't. 
Okay. Let's uh, get rid of this. So with the profits we get from all of this, I think I might be able to buy one of those other businesses. So we'll see. Let's get our wheels up. Flip around here. Get into this field. Okay, field work. Generate the course. Field number 25. And 13.2, starting corner is the southwest, heading north. Activate that. Oh, shoot, stop. I thought I was in that. Harvest field 25. Yep, see how fast that one worked? Because it's a small field. All right, let him go to work. Now, while he's working, let's get these things put into a harvest folder. Okay, so let's get all these put away into harvest. See the bigger fields? See how long it's taking to transfer to transfer that to that other folder? It takes almost as long as it did to create it in the first place. Now watch this one go really fast. Yeah, see it went pretty fast. Field three should go fairly fast. Uh, field four's another bigger field. It'll take a little bit of time. And then field five's gonna take a little bit. Field five's a big field. Okay, so let's jump into these guys and I'll show you what I'm gonna do. Now we'll jump this guy into field number one. This is how my life is gonna be simplified. I just created one course play route to harvest the crops. Now I need to pick up the windrow and thresh it for chaff. So the way I'm going to simplify my life is to choose uh, farm work, go in here and do the very same route, harvest field one, right there. Come out. And this guy's going to follow the same route that the harvester is using to create the windrow and he should follow right behind and pick it up. So I have one route that does all of that. So there's the route right there. And if I just say go to work. Now I've got that trailer in the way but we can move him. There he goes, he's picking up the windrow, making chaff out of it. Now the only thing is, I need to decide how I'm going to work this. And that, um, do I have two trucks out here uh, picking up the straw or the chaff and the, and the fruit? Or do I make a route that does it? I don't know, I don't know. Uh oh train coming so I don't know but let me get the rest of these guys going these guys can hold a hell of a lot of chaff so I'm gonna let them just work take this guy over to field number two and we'll just uh, select that route harvest field two 
we can actually pick up the chaff, thre thresh the wind. Uh, we can thresh the windrow into threat uh, into a chaff. At the same time, we're actually harvesting the field with a whole lot less fuss. Now we're going to lose a little bit of the windrow uh, when he turns a corner. That's okay. If it's a straight line, it should be just fine. All right, there he goes. Next. Oh, shoot, he's got to go home. Okay. Transport, did I do a transport course already? I know I did some. Okay, this is field 12 to main farm. There we go. So I did. I did. While I was messing around uh, between episodes, I did a couple. Because I had to move equipment around. So I went ahead and did some courses. So let's do that. Activate that. Let's get the next one that's on the farm here. I think it's lightening up a little bit, the fog. Okay, so what did we just do? We did field number two. We need to do field number three. Now I'm gonna have to have uh, two trucks out on the field, I think. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I got a pretty good idea how I might do it though. Here's the thing, I don't have to pick up the, the windrow right now. I don't have to. I could wait till he's done harvesting and then I wouldn't have any problems at all. But here's what I'm thinking. Let's put this in there. We're gonna do harvest field number three. Let him go to work. Let's grab the next guy. Here's what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to let them share a truck. And whichever one needs to be unloaded, let him unload it. I don't know. Thinking. Just thinking. Let's see. We need to go to field number four. So let's go ahead and choose a course. Shoot. <laughs> I wasn't watching where I was driving. Dangerous. I knew the job was dangerous when I took it. I, I tried this in another map where I had two truck tractor trailers on the on the uh, field, and they kind of butt heads a little bit. So that might not work like I want it to. So I'm thinking that I might just uh, have one truck on there and let him choose which one he wants to work. Windrower. Oh, no! I didn't even know they'd do that. Uh-oh. fence post on the end of that fence. What's holding it up? Hope this guy's got enough power to push him over. If I have to use one of the big trucks, they go really fast. I could ram that sucker across the county with one of those trucks. Now, uh, these uh, these guys might catch those combines. They go pretty fast. Okay. All right, so let me see. These guys are going six Oh, that scared the hell out of me. These guys are going six miles an hour. I know that I can go in there and change it to 12. 
I might do that before the next episode. So let me let me see if I can get this guy pushed over before I go. But yeah, this is gonna simplify everything. Well, he did it! Surprise, surprise! Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. If you had fun, like it if you did, share it with a friend, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you back on the farm the next episode. Happy farming.